freedom to gain, we feed them the game. Turn on new freedom exchange, we freeing your brain. They trying to shackle your mind, no half of us blind. Remember the past, but never go backwards in time. The ancestors lived through us to help us build a model community. New Africa is soon to be. So tune in to Sister Marsha Mujahideen, man, but loud to get your culture more enlightenment now. Salam alaikum. Welcome back, welcome yeah. back, welcome back to another edition of New Freedom Exchange, your cultural expression for social dignity and community empowerment. I'm your co-host Mujahideen here with Imam Bilal. Assalamu alaikum, my beloveds. It's good to see everyone on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Uh, the first Saturday in the month of August. So I hope everyone is doing well. Um, and we're kicking off New Africa August today. This year's New Africa August theme in, in, in um, continuation um, of the New Africa August uh, programming that was started by our dear beloved guest who will be with us momentarily um, to come on and discuss as we highlight the four community expressions or expressions of community um, has been given to us by our late teacher and leader Imam Warifuddin Muhammad may Allah God forgive him and grant him his high station in paradise told us about the four how, these four expressions of community we have of, 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 of business which we we're talking about today actually business and the importance of establishing business in the African-American Muslim, Afro American and Afro American Muslim communities, business. Then you have we have we have econ, uh, um, culture, we have government, and then we have uh, education. So today, theme is focused on business, and we'll be discussing the the this the business theme with one of our very own from our community, uh, the founder of WeBuyBlack.com, Sharif Abdul Malik, who will be joining us momentarily. Uh, to be with us this evening. But first and foremost, if you're watching this program tonight, we ask that you share, 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 like, and subscribe. You see us on Facebook, New Freedom um, Exchange with X, like the page, New Freedom Network, like the page. We are on YouTube, New Freedom Exchange, streaming live on YouTube right now. Please like, I mean, please subscribe to our channel and share the content. We have a lot of content up and we will continue to bring you content as as we go throughout the month of New Africa August, um, so please like and subscribe and tell your friends we're live. Inshallah, God willing. And brother Dean, how are you, man? Doing good, man. Blessed by the best, as they say. Uh, out right. here with the with the youngins, uh, so I got a little transitioning going on, but everything's good. Um, mm -hmm. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. How about you? Beautiful day in the neighborhood, Aki. We must talk about what is happening on on with the prosperity, man. We um we are uh, mobilizing. Yes, I'm saying we have the prosperity pie on deck with the with the punch with the prosperity punch on deck, um, and we are, have been doing several events over the past few weekends. Um, and with this weekend, we have done the Lawton Farmers Market, um, celebrating the Black Queens Research Group's third year anniversary of being an organized group organizing African Americans in the Queens community, encouraging us to shop and support each other, and a bunch of activities they do for the community and giving back, civic engagement, education, all the things actually that we've been talking about, that we're gonna be talking about this month, they actually do. So we wanna shout out the Black Queens Resorts group on their third and um, third year anniversary of having the group. And today they had a block party at the Orton Farmers Market and we vended our prosperity pies and our prosper prosperity punches. And um, we had two other events that we were, we as a team spread out this weekend. So uh, we had Dean on the scene in Laurelton Farmer's Market representing with the Prosperity Pies on the deck. And then we had myself, I traveled to Harlem, New York. And the, uh, you know you know how we do it, uptown. You know what I'm saying? Where we welcome the new Lincoln Lions class of 2026 um, into the fold. Uh, we had a successful event this afternoon, so we were very happy to bring uh, bring alumni and student current students together to share experiences and talk to our future lions. 
And the same uh, with our dear beloved sister, our program director, Sister Marsha Nivens, who is out um, on the scene as well at Masjid Muhammad Newark, where they did a send off party celebration, commemoration of Brother Sean and Brother and Sister Anissa. So throughout the program, we will actually at this point or some point throughout the uh, program put the registries in for Sean, Brother Sean and Sister Anissa, because the registries are still open. Um, if we're not able to make the event today, which was a successful event in Newark, New Jersey, um, uh, Sister Anissa is going to Howard University in all, uh, next weekend, actually. She's going, she's moving up next weekend, and Sean is going to Montclair State University. So congratulations to Sean and congratulations to Anissa on their achievements. And let's put some let's put something into the registry. Let's get something off the registry for them. So we encourage you all to when the links come in the uh, comment section for the registries to check them out and actually support them um, in their journeys. It takes a village. It takes a community. And this is part of the work that we do here at New Freedom. So that's been the week. That's been oh, that's been our travels so far and we're looking forward to continuation excuse me of our travels in the next um in the next few weeks uh with the events coming up in the and the com community events coming up in the community calendar and we will be having more updates at the end of the show about some of the community calendar events that's coming up uh which will be right around the corner uh for the month of august but particularly the month of september is jam-packed every weekend is event going on so we're going to give some shout outs to some of the community events that's happening in the month of september so while everyone is tuned in i see some people are tuned in um if you are tuned into the space give salams give peace and blessings and we'll shout you out on the platform absolutely absolutely and uh i mean we might want to do some of those announcements uh, while we have the time now For sure so when our guests yeah. come on we could uh <clears throat> transition right into that let's pull up let's pull up some announcements what we got in the back what we got in the background man Oh, whoa. I wasn't all the way ready. So <laughs> let me get you. Okay, me well, get you get, get, oh, well, <laughs> well, then, well, well, he gets ready. Like you, the saying the saying says, you know, you, you got to stay ready, man. Yes, yeah, I'm saying. See, we, yeah, we got something see. for you. <laughs> <laughs> Start off with this one right now. Let me yeah, save the day. Uh, this is the, um, t actually hotels are available for this event now. Um, save the date, December 9th, 11th. This is the Muslim Journal. It's a time to be grateful, which will be coming to the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., hosted by the nation's mosque, Masjid Muhammad in D.C. So book your dates. I mean, save the date and book your rooms. Um, it's from December 9th to December 11th. Uh, Muslim Journals, a time to be grateful. We will be there, actually. Plan Our plan is to attend, to actually be in participation with the believers at this at this conference, which will be um, in person um, conference um, this year um, with a possibility of a hybrid model. Uh, more details on that soon to come. But definitely, uh, if you can, if you're local to the area, bring yourself down in the family to DC, the nation's capital, to celebrate a time to be grateful for the Muslim Journal. We'll see you there. What else we got in the queue in the background, man? We got some others. I know we got September events loaded. Uh, we have Sister Sawad's event. I don't know if we have, we could pull up Sister Sawad's events. We have tickets on sale. Sister Sawad El Amin and Omar El Amin, and the El Amin Productions, Cultural Extravaganza 7, uh, which is happening in September on the September, the, I want, uh, it's September the 17th. E e yes, yeah, September the 17th from 12 to 3, hosted by Masjid al Haq of Newark, New Jersey. This is happening, again, at the Cityplex 12 Theater, 3, 360 Springfield Avenue. Save the date. The tickets are $40. We have the tickets. So Sir Suwad El Amin is performing, along with various other artists soon to be announced, TBA. But you want to get your tickets now. They're $40. There will be a uh, virtual component streamed live here on New Freedom Network, but only for those who purchase tickets for the event. Those tickets are not on sale just yet, but TBD to be uh, to be to be uh, excuse me TBA to be announced. Those tickets will be twenty five dollars. So in person tickets we have. So let us know if you need in person tickets. If you live in the state of New Jersey, New York City, the tri-state area. 
Let us know if you need tickets. This is the Suwad's Cultural Extravaganza 7. This is a special Muslim Journal cultural concert. Special Muslim Journal cultural concert. Let us remember that the announcement has been made, beloved community, that the Muslim Journal's headquarters is now in Newark, New Jersey. Masjid al So please, we ask the believers, everyone to come out. If you can't come out physically to join us virtually in celebrating the new strategic moves that's being made for the journal and actually uh, have some fun with some of our favorite artists and new artists coming up. So d definitely get your tickets. They're $40. Hit us up. We have the tickets. Inshallah. And I think we are, our, our guest is here with us. Uh, we are joined uh, by our distinguished guest, our belo dear beloved brother, uh, Sharif Abdul Malik, founder of We Buy Black, um, and uh, he is here with us today, and we want to bring him on the queue to uh, start our conversation this evening. Inshallah. Uh, before we do that, I just wanted to give a brief introduction mm -hmm. of uh, New Africa August, which he sure, yes, uh, was the uh, cr creator of, uh, which started yes. back in uh, August 2020, uh, which they did a uh, thirty, actually 31 days of online events uh, highlighting uh, the works aim to build a uh, model community life that represents the best life and our best aspirations as a people. Um, I'm just going to read this quick blurb and then we'll, we'll bring the brother on inshallah says God willing. We're all familiar with Black History Month, a month in which we recognize all the great works leaders in the African American community have contributed to our movement towards freedom, justice and equality. We would also like to add another month, which we should be working for the establishment and advancement of our community life. For the full month, we recognize and celebrate our current efforts. This is New Africa August. With no further ado, we'd like to bring in our dear brother, uh, Sharif Abdul Malik. As salamu alaykum. Alaykum as Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. As salamu alaykum, beloved. Alaykum as -salam. Good to see y'all. Good to see you as well, alhamdulillah. Uh, we thank uh, Brother Sharif, our dear beloved brother, first and foremost, is our dear beloved brother, that's first in the faith in Al-Islam. But he, we know, as we know, for many, many know, uh, Brother Sharif is a founder of the WeBuyBlack.com platform, the Black Amazon, as some people have coined it, the Black Amazon, um, that just celebrated last year, uh, moving past the milestone of a million followers on Instagram, so we the brother Sharif has been pounding the pavement in this in this business world, the business sector for a little while now, and uh, we want to uh, to start this initial conversation with uh, brother Sharif. If you give give us a little um, a little background as to how, for those who don't know, we're not familiar, um, a little background on how we you started We Buy Black and what encouraged you to actually start the platform. Well, um, you know, first, I, you know, I appreciate you brothers for, um, you know, welcoming me to your show. Um, it's not the first time I've, I've, I've been on, um, but, you know, I, I appreciate even more coming back on uh, to be with you all and to also speak to your audience. Um, to, to, to answer the question, um, We By Black started in 2015. Uh, we decided to launch the, the site on June uh june 19th it was juneteenth uh we decided to do a launch on juneteenth um and um the site was doing really well um it did so well that it that it actually crashed and then um we had the site redevelop you know we we um we had the community to come behind it and you know um actually put some money towards it for us to raise funds to to develop the site you know with the promise that we would that we would you know, um, help circulate the dollar even more in our community. And I think my exact words then was, you know, if, if we raise the 30,000 to get the platform, I, I, my promise is to help us circulate a million dollars on the platform. <laughs> so um, it, sound, it sounded great at that time. And, it, you know, we received a lot of buy-in and people helped us raise those funds um, within a month. And then we jumped right at developing the site and, um, you know, and we, we definitely hit that goal 
and surpass that goal. And uh, we even help individuals hit that goal individually, you know. Um, so 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 a lot of successes have come from you know our community coming together um behind a vision and behind um at that time it was just myself but you know behind a team eventually that was willing to see that vision through you know um so we have now bigger visions and aspirations but that's that's how it began in 2015 so we about seven years in Excellent, excellent. And with that, with that being said, with the seven years, uh, what have what have you all learned? I mean, what in terms of your gro- the growths, and I would say also the challenges in this space. What have what has we by Black learned over these past seven years? Well, I mean, a lot. You know, um, a whole lot. I, I, I guess um, I think some of the most important things would be. Uh, how to, to do business, right? Um, and business at different levels <clears throat> and um, how to work with people um, and the importance in working with people. Um, I would say definitely um, partnerships is, is extremely important. Um, I'm learning more and more about that now, how to work with people and, and which people to actually work with so um but i learned a lot about our community and that and the dynamics within our community i think when uh when i started the company um it was uh, the the reason behind me starting it was after studying uh i guess the um the effects uh, that the world has had on the african-american community in particular uh, society has had on, on our community and <clears throat> the uh, the different disadvantages uh, that we have within our community and then ways to sort of overcome that. So uh, just throughout this time, you know, uh, I could just be real with you. Like I, I've, I've, me personally, you know, I've, I've become very skilled at marketing to our community, right? Um, knowing what they want, what they don't want, uh, the things that they believe they want um, may not be what exactly they they, they should have or or uh, how how they should have it. Um, I think that uh, marketing is is um, it's a skill. It has a lot to do with psychology, which I study, and um, and tapping into the psychology of our community is a world in and of itself. I mean, any human being or any race of people is just a world in and of itself. Um, but convincing our community to support each other, then you have to dispel a lot of myths and you have to have those myths sort of lined up and then you have to go one by one and dispelling those different myths. And, um, you know, um, I know for a while, um, not too many people believed in the idea that, um, that, uh, that we could bring so many people together in, in, in this term to buy black was like would thrive. Like we received so many emails when we first launched of like, you know, change the name. I can't join this site if it's going to say anything, uh, you know, like this. Or, you know, I got corporate sponsors who are not going to support me if I say black. And, um, you know, people's like majority of my clientele are white and you know, I can't share this link. I, I want to be on your platform, but I can't share this link if it's saying this, 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 and that. So it was just like, it was a lot of that. Like it was, it was a lot of that. And, um, you know, I saved a lot of those emails too, because we got a lot of hate, hate mail. Um, you know, um, I received some threats back in those, when we first launched, I received some threats, you know? Um, and, uh, but I learned, I learned a lot about people and how to, and, and how to, uh, navigate through those different waters in order to see the vision through. And, um, and it's something I, I have to sort of document because it's very difficult to just kind of explain. Um, so I may, I may actually do better, um, at actually writing that down and, and probably eventually turn that to some type of, um, you know, book or whatever, uh, of how to successfully market to our people and to start a movement, a successful movement within our community. So, <clears throat> 
to that to that point real quick uh i know because of uh as we're focusing on the future uh and planning and business mm -hmm. development um how can how can you i mean you gave one example about the um, the struggle to convince uh, our people to buy from each other right and so it's like you know what, what are some i mean you gave some examples what are some tangible things we can do like in the communities now right because in most of our communities we don't see a lot of our our business um our businesses we see other people businesses in our community yeah definitely i mean i think uh everyone want to see s success right everyone wants to see something happen at least the productive people in our community and people who who are still sane they they want to see production um and production it doesn't always have to be major it could be some things that are relatively smaller or happen on a smaller level but to to, to kind of chart a course um depending on whatever whatever activity you plan to be in or get into um looking at what the the the, the large vision is sometimes you could kind of keep that to yourself what the large vision is and then you could have steps to get there and uh communicate the vision those smaller steps communicate that to whoever you're speaking to your audience or people who you plan to, uh, to plan to support you and and these are things that you know that you can achieve so you sort of build up this momentum based on uh success and it happens for anything like it could be anything that you choose you know you have this major vision and then you got these small steps to get there and and you just let people know what you're going to be doing and um and uh fulfilling on it and uh people will begin to trust you they'll begin to support you and uh they'll they'll get the community behind you you know um and, and many times it'll be people who you never even met before you know uh these are just people who want to see you know um see these type of things through i remember when we raised um when we did a crowdfund the first crowdfund that we that we um the first crowdfund that we held years ago it was like um you know it seemed like everyone in our community knew about it i'm talking about like in our actual community you know muhammad's community knew about it uh <clears throat> but majority of the people who donated was outside of our community uh nearly 90 95 percent of the people <clears throat> and i was like okay well you know maybe you know everybody know you know um but then the next time we crowdfunded we raised like a hundred thousand and then it was the same thing and then the next time we we, we raised we did another crowd was like 400 some thousand and it was the same thing um and i i just realized that i had to, it was something that was in my mind to think that we were the only ones that really bought into this vision but but truthfully is you know some really people wanted more than we wanted <laughs> you know what i mean uh the world wants what we what we the our aspirations when we talk about like new africa those aspirations the world wants that like our community really wants that and and they know that we're the ones to deliver it <clears throat> but i think a lot of times we look for the people in our community the ones that's actually a part of our choir to 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 be you know to be the only ones singing but it don't work that way it's like everyone knows what song we're trying to sing and they want to be a part of it and um you know and they just looking for leadership and leadership is, is is actually in our community i think once we sort of get out of our own way kind of move away from um uh you know um outside of the, that that little four uh four walls of of, of a of the masjid you know this is this really like a complex that a lot of people deal with even outside of our community in the church etc uh you know uh the nation of islam they they deal with it you know i, I know a lot of people in the nation of islam that you know <clears throat> um i remember before we before we started we about like i remember like a lot of young people in the nation of islam was only focused in on creating things for the people in the nation of islam but it was once they saw what we were doing what we about black they were like oh there's a huge market that that wants this and they sort of stepped out and started doing it too and i think that um i think that that's a major blessing for for all of us you know to realize that um the world needs our support in the world and needs our needs our help so a part of that a part of that major psychology of like reaching your people it first start like with yourself you know making sure that you don't have any boundaries that will limit you from 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 reaching the people because once you get out there they're going to want you they're going to receive you they're going to realize man they say man these guys stand up you know they straight up they, they clean they you know we could trust them with our money we could trust them with our with our 
or whatever. So they're going to support you, but you got to make sure that you're prepared to bring them in and to work with them. Right. I think that that's the major thing is, is actually, um, um, you know, working on on how we view our community first. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good segue. Uh, maybe you can share some of the things you're working on, some things you got coming up um, in your business uh, development. Oh, yeah. So um, we, we actually got a lot going on. Um, probably got too much going on, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I think I think now I'm valuing partnerships more than I ever have. Um, in fact, I, I was able to sit down with um, a few few a few business people um, and it was just in a short time period. It was just it was um, a few of them that were like, extremely successful. You know, uh, one of them, um, I believe, I don't know if he's a billionaire, but um, I don't know if he's a billionaire. I, and, I, and I don't know. I, mean, I know that that's been rumored, but I don't know if it's if it's actually true, if he's actually a billionaire, you know. But um, <clears throat> but I sat down with him and I sat down with, with, with quite a few other people and I was. Um, they were very interested in what we were doing. And these were some, actually some of the people that I'm talking about, they were some of the people who, when I first started, you know, I, I kind of came to, and I was like, listen, this division is et cetera, et cetera. And they were like, man, that's just not the wave. No one's on that page. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, but then once they saw everything sort of happening, you know, um, and in fact, one of them did some major development um, in, in the name of like buying black, you know, um, but he, he mentioned to me, he said, I would have never done this unless he said, I would have never done this until my the, my white counterparts was like, this is what we should be doing or something like something to that extent. And I was like, it's crazy. Like, you know, we convinced them that this is what you should be doing. Now you, you got to get it from them. Either way, it's cool. Um, but, you know, that's 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 also a part of the psychology in which we're dealing with. Um, but uh, we we. We're working on some things, man, that um, I actually could say this now. I think we're, we're in a stage where I actually could say this. So um, come come next year, we're, we're going to we plan to do a, um, a equity crowdfund. Um, and I've been studying equity crowdfunds for a while. Um, one of the one of the first successful equity crowdfunds I've seen come out of our community was uh, through a brother named uh, Jay Morrison. Um, you know, me and him met. Uh, we met this one particular time before he launched the campaign. And um, he was sort of going through the steps in which he would have to take in order to make that happen. And um, and this was probably 2000 and um, maybe 17, maybe, um, maybe 18, uh, 2018. <clears throat> and um, and I knew one day I would do, I knew one day we would do that. Uh, but I had to figure out like what kind of structure and model we would how we would do it. Um, so. You know, God has blessed us over the years to develop a lot of uh, and partner with and develop a lot of uh, companies. And um, and we're seeing um, we're seeing a lot of successes. We will be seeing a lot more if we I believe if we um, if we partner with with the right people and bring the right people in. I reference um, those those uh, the gentlemen, um, these business folk earlier because when having a conversation with them, you know, they mentioned that, um, they mentioned that, uh, they try not to do anything on their own, you know, and, um, one of them who, who wasn't a Muslim, he said, I just want my share of this world. <laughs> and he put it just like in those terms, you know, and I was like, ah, you know, like, damn, like that's straight out of the Quran, you know? And I was like, and he just said it. I mean, this dude was like, uh, I think he's, he's shy just a few, a few hundred thousand shy of a billion dollars or whatever so yeah but he was like um he was like i just want my share you know and um so he has a share in a lot of different things and then he started to go into uh different uh entities that have their share in a lot of different companies that they may or may not believe in uh they, they definitely believe it so believe in them so far as like the success and trajectory of their business uh, but maybe maybe not. They probably don't align with like their mission and values or whatever. But <clears throat> on a business tip, they have a share in it. And, um, um, you know, whether it's, you know, 5 percent, 10 percent, you know, share in, a, in, a, in quite a few large companies. And, and these two really two companies, two entities 
are um, are some of the I believe these two entities are, are two of the largest entities uh, financially in, in the world. But they, when you kind of look at uh, what they're involved in, they just they have a, a stake in almost every or almost every major company, and it's not a lot. It's just a, you know seven percent, ten percent, eleven percent, you know, a share of all of these different these different companies. Um, and I believe that we have that in our potential too. You know, um, like uh, we have, um, you know, a, a big part of what I've been speaking to is the importance in doing for ourselves but also investing in ourselves right um the whole buy black it means to, to to do for yourself to invest in yourself and to love yourself right um and i think that um uh, we have to be careful you know um uh what movements we sort of subscribe to um because that sounds great but it could be twisted you know those type of things could be twisted you know, because now it's like, OK, what Sharif is saying is like, that's important. We, we got to be in business. We got to we got to go and make money. And I'm like, yeah, like, exactly. However, I'm saying we need to support each other. That's the difference. <laughs> support, make money, but support your community in the process of doing it. But if if you just take that one part of just going to make money or going to, um, you know, um, you know, in, involve yourself in, in making money in, in investments, then you'll you'll start promoting what everyone else is doing. You'll start talking about all the different investments uh, that you can get involved in that have nothing to do with uplifting and building up your community. And when you invest in everyone else and don't necessarily have a vision to invest in yourself, every time you put a dollar towards those businesses as an investment, then you saying that I believe in what you're doing. And if you're not putting money towards what you're what, what was happening in your own community, you saying, I don't believe in what we're doing. And what happens over time is, is that you sort of subscribe to a whole nother people subconsciously or a whole nother uh, uh, or you, you disconnect from your own people, which is even more uh, important. Uh, you disconnect from your own people. And I think that that's problematic. Um, I think that uh, the direction that we're moving in is more so we we, we have to. Um, find every opportunity to support each other and work with each other, um, and that's the di that's the direction that we're moving in. So you'll see you'll see a lot coming from us next year, once certain things are tightened up on the, on the financial side, um, and the, and all the legalities are in place. Then you'll see some stuff that we'll be coming out with, um, challenging our community to start investing in um, products and services of their own of their own. So. Excellent, excellent. We do have a question here from the audience, actually from our dear sister Marsha. She said, how can businesses strengthen the position of our misagents? What opportunities are manageable for misagents to pursue initially? Um, that's a great question. I think, um, you know, as a, um, as a masjid or the misagent, uh, uh massage it you have you have an opportunity to um to reach reach people who are there on that floor and in that community <clears throat> and it has nothing to do with money it has nothing to do with money it has nothing to do with the, this uh the physical it has uh it has almost everything to do with their spiritual life <laughs> But these two can't be separated, right? These two can't be separated. But when people come into the massage, <clears throat> when they come into the, the different massage across the country, um, uh, you, you're really dealing with a, um, an audience of people who believe in God. You're dealing with an audience of people who want to or who should want to have family, should want to, um, you know, take care of their community, should want to see the best life for their community that's the that's the audience you're already dealing with and when you're in business it's kind of hard to like advance that business when you got people on your team who don't really believe in what you believe in they don't even they don't even believe in what you believe in so uh they would do things to just provoke you or to tear down your business they put up things and, and do things and bring in people that you know that don't even align with your vision and your mission for your community but when you when you're there 
on in, in, in the masjid, you're dealing with a um, you're dealing with a group of people who already think like you. At least the basis of their life is like yours. They believe in God. They believe in Muhammad the Prophet. Uh, they believe in community life, in 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 in, uh, in, in the necessity for us to establish community. So that's like a really that's that's a real st that's the start right there. Um, and then you and then, in my opinion, you sort of have to tap into that community. Right. Um, I think that um, I think surveying the community to really find out, uh, Marsha, um, you know, who's in that community? Um, what do they have going on already? Right. Um, who's in that community? What do they have already going on? And then ways in which the, the masters should support them. I think a lot of times we look at for the businesses in the, in the, in the community support the master, but the masters should be looking at ways in which they should support them and, and trust and know that trust and know that by doing so, those people will return a favor. Right. Um, and then that's how the master sort of grows. And that's how they, they, they uh, businesses will contribute. HBCUs actually suffer from the same issue um, because they're looking for um, students uh, or alumni to, to, to come back and donate and, uh, you know, create endowments and donate to the school. But the school should be going, um, they should have committees going, going far out their way to make sure that whoever graduated from the school, once they graduate, that they're successful in the world, <laughs> right? It's like these these students they come in they come and they they they're like 40 50 60 thousand dollars in debt and that's money that they gave to the HBCU to the school but but once they graduate then the school should be looking at how can they you gave me forty thousand how can I how can I put 200 how can I triple that and put two hundred thousand uh, dollars of resources back into seeing you're successful <clears throat> and then it's an exchange. So I gave you the 40 and I attended the school. I graduate, you come back and you deposit into me through networking, through resources, through real estate, through whatever it may be to ensure that I'm successful. And then, and then once successful, I can then come back and give to you. So it's an exchange. But I think what happens is, is that it's not just looked at in the HBCU. It's also happening in a lot of um, the, the the school system, the private school system, like Muhammad schools. Is that um, you know students come out of the school, they graduate, and they don't necessarily feel connected to the school that claim that they produced that student. The student does not necessarily feel like they was produced by that school. Um, and uh, what happens is is that. Um, that there's no real connection there. So if I graduate from a, from a middle school or from a high school, then it would be great to know that that school or that community uh, is where I get my first job or it's where, you know, um, whatever, but I'm still connected. So I think that, I think what's more important is, is finding out ways in which the, 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 the massage can actually support um, uh community members you know it's, it's like when muhammad the prophet when he first uh peace and blessed be upon when he first uh, was established in medina the first thing that he or, or, or came to medina he established a a, a masjid and um and he met muhammad said that um whatever we produce whatever we produce should be bigger than us so if that is the case, then and he actually actually referenced this. He said, whatever we should produce, whatever we produce should be bigger than us. He said, so if we have a master, the master produces the school. He said, but your school should be bigger than your master. He said, your master should never be bigger than your school. And then the school trains, educates, and, and pushes out these students. And these students go out into the world and they become big business people. But the big business people should then be bigger than the school, right? So it's sort of it's, it's like that, and um, I think that that's that's ultimately the way it should work is is the 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 the, the um, that the master 
the masters should be connected to education and to training and to uh, bringing communities and families together to make sure that their their children are properly trained it's like can you imagine having a a, a, a mass year that has a that, that that then has a school but then it doesn't properly train the students in that school therefore they have to go out and get other people in the in the world to to be the, their imams or to be their uh, 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 educators of their school or to be whatever, to be their business people, to help ensure that they're successful. It's like, no, nah, like invest in your children, invest in your school. If you invest in your school, then you will produce the best minds that will come back and contribute to that community. Um, so I think it's straightforward. You know, I, I, our leader and Imam, Imam Muhammad, he, he laid it out for us, you know, and, um, I can't really get with, you know, uh, uh, uh anything else you know i think that that's it just it makes all the sense in the world and i'm and i'm and i'm a testament of it you know <laughs> like it works you know so we just got to follow that follow that track well alhamdulillah i mean you bring up some valid points here in terms of you know the investment you know of our institutions and the model the models that we have are are antiquated you know, so I'm saying in a sense that, you know, it's not, it's good, but it's not the preferred, it's not, it's not preferred. You know, if we want to really establish community life, if we want to establish, you know, leaders and those connected to the mission of the institution. You know, you brought up two institutions, you know, Claremont Muhammad School System and the Claremont Muhammad School System, Muhammad High School System, and then you have the HBC world you know, which is in this system in itself, you know, and it's other systems too, but just speaking of those systems there, you know, in terms of the investment, I think those are very crucial points, you know, instead of, you know, asking in the masters too, in our churches or religious centers, instead of, you know, constantly asking people for, you know, can you, you know, put some money into the box, you know, what, you know, what is the programming and the initiatives that you these institutions are doing to invest into the their constituents you know and their conjugations you know and or their students you know because nine times out of ten a lot of times is we've stuck on the model of like okay we have to have another fundraiser you know and you know that's really the bread and butter of the situation it's just the galas and everyone gets dressed up once a year you know you raise your money and then to next year or next Friday, you're asking for some more money. So it's like, wait a minute, like, you know, that model works, but it's not the preferred model. You know, so it's definitely not the preferred model moving forward in the 21st century. So um, so any long-term goals, Sharif? What are some long-term goals for the platform? You know, we talked about initially your short-term goals or some things you're about to roll out in the next, in the next coming, coming months, coming years. You know, maybe two, two, three years, but five. Let's talk about like maybe five, ten years. Let's be by black. Long term goals, five, ten, fifteen years down the road. Let's take the five to ten. Five to ten. So, so in, in five years, our plan is um, we have it where we we will be the largest distributor for um, African American owned products or black owned products. Um, um, we will also be um, um, an incubator. Um, a digital incubator uh, for black businesses. Um, we've worked with thousands of black businesses over the, the past seven years. <clears throat> and um, we, we've been able to properly like analyze what a business needs in order to, to guarantee their success. Um, you know, um, I've seen businesses come in with an idea and um, we've helped them, you know, create a prototype, have that product uh, mass manufactured. We've warehoused that product. We've um, we've marketed that product, and uh, we've helped those businesses do very well. Um, but then there's there, there's something after you know um, marketing the product, and then the product making its first million dollars, right? Or the business making its first million dollars. So like, okay, what happens after that? You know, like how how do you structure? and build out a business to ensure that it's successful you know and then constantly growing over the years um and that's something that um we need to learn more about as a company um and there there's a, a lot of qualified people in our community that know a lot about that 
um, it's it's sort of like a family, you know, or it is like a family, you know, um, and you know, in the African American community, we still suffer with, you know, um, not being able to to establish a, a fully functioning family that lives on for generations and and they are successful. Um, <clears throat> that that sort of after you know. Um, few years or a few decades, you know, you had these families that sort of die off. And it's the same thing with our businesses too. You know, it's, it's hard to locate, you know, more than 10 businesses in the, in the African-American community have been in existence for more than 80 years, you know? Um, uh, and, uh, you know, and if you could find a business that, 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 that's been successful that long, I can guarantee you it's, it's a family that was strong. It was a, it was backed by a family. So so the longer that they're here, the longer that these institutions that have been present, then then the, the more wealth that they can amass over time, and the more people that they can help and be successful, uh, help to be successful. So I think in the next um, so in, in the next five years, you know, we're we're we're, um, we're on track to be. Um, this is actually more of a short term. Um, short term is is the dig digital incubator. It's more short term. We actually rolled out some things now. Um, however, um, in about five years, we want to have, you know, um, roughly 100,000 of, of black owned businesses a part of that uh, digital incubator. So for those who may not know what that is, essentially a business can come to us or a person could come to us and say, hey, I have this idea. And, 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 and uh, right now we're only focusing on product ideas, but they can come to us and say, hey, I have this idea. And um, um, and we can help them with that idea, you know, and help bring that idea to life. And as I mentioned, you know, we've we've done this over and over and over again. But but it's just been a part of uh, it, it. Never really, we never really had our hand in it, um, you know. So far as like having um, uh, having that actually a part of our business model, it was never a part of our business model. We we've helped people. I help people individually. My team helped people individually. Um, but we never had a part of our business model um, to establish that incubator. So that is an area that we're walk, walking into. And in about five years, um, we, we just recently, you know, um, partnered with uh, a tech team uh, here, uh, based here in Atlanta. Uh, they 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 uh, would be handling all of our tech. Uh, we would be launching, we're on plans to launch a, a mobile app by the end of the year. Um, and then um, from that, we'll, we'll start to work on the, the, the incubator. And um, yeah, and then, like, as I mentioned, by the next year, we'll be doing, um, we'll have an equity crowdfund for, for the company. And then um, we'll launch a series of equity crowdfunds for all the other companies that we're working with as well. And, um, and then the next uh, five years, uh, we plan to have 100, we, we're looking at to have 100,000 business a part of the incubator. 100,000 business is part of the incubator. Um, and after they come through that incubator, then they, they enter onto the site. Um, so about double of that, double that amount actually being on the platform at that particular time. Excellent. Alhamdulillah. That, inshallah, that may Allah make it easy and bring it about. I mean, uh, what can the community do? What can the community do? Those who are watching, those who watch later and, and et cetera, et cetera. What can, what can the community do? to support We Buy Black in all of those things that you just mentioned. Some simple things, take a simple takeaways for the for those who watch. Yeah, I mean, you know, I would say, you know, uh, as members, um, you know, a part of our community, uh, to challenge, challenge your community, your local community um, in a positive way to to work with us, right, strategically. Let's sit down. Let's meet with the massage in our communities and let's and let's broadcast it. Let's not have it as a private meeting. Let, let's actually hear what we're talking about to to the massage for the community. Um, and it wouldn't be any different than what you hear me publicize anyway. Right. Um, you know, a lot of people know what I'm working on. What I'm working on is what Imam Muhammad not directly asked me to work on. But from me hearing what he asked for, hearing what he asked our community, that's why I picked it up and I just started working toward it. Uh, and Elijah Muhammad, what Elijah Muhammad stood for. That's, I mean, that's exactly what we're doing. You know, it's exactly what we're doing. And our aspirations is a part of that. <laughs> it's like, this is the direction we're moving in. 
So um, anybody who wants to support, I see you as supporting our leader. Anybody who's supporting what we're doing, I, that's how I that's how I view it. And people who are doing work similar, I see uh, that's how I view you. It's like okay, so I, I'm obligated to support you. And uh, because if I'm not supporting the the, the product from our community, then I didn't support our community. If I'm not supporting what I, I Imam asked for, and, and and young people in our community picked it up to do it, and I don't get behind that, then I never supported our Imam in the first place. I wasn't in support of our Imam in the first place, and 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 that's how I view it. So, I would say I would say people want to support. It, it could happen on, on multiple levels. It, I think it should definitely one. We need, we got to get serious and, and get with um, uh, members in our community uh, who are part of the board or the or, or the uh, what they call it um, the shore board of the of the communities. And um, let's have a meeting and let's talk about how can we get involved in this type of this type of thing. So um, you all know you know you all know what I'm about. So you all know that um, right now we have um, a laundry detergent on the market. And everybody washes their clothes. There's absolutely no reason why we're in all of us are in the same community. We're not using these the, these brothers' uh, laundry detergent, unless and, and unless it, and it, is that, it was at some point where people had a valid excuse. They said, "Well, you know, you know, I'm sensitive to this, 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 and that." Then they created after like six years of being in business and hearing that same excuse, they created um, a, a laundry detergent that they didn't have that uh, that was a free and clear. Then they then they created a fabric softener, right? Then they got dryer sheets. So so and so the way I see it is like like we should be getting fully behind them because Imam Muhammad would have done the exact same thing. Elijah Muhammad would have done the exact same thing. So anybody who's not, I can't I can't I can't trust them. I really can't. I can't trust them. I, I can't trust them. And honestly, I'm not interested in working with them. I'm interested in going after the laws found the people who really want this. Because when we talk to them, they like. They washing their hands. They like, let's go. We ready. <laughs> you know what I mean? They like, let's go. Okay, y'all got toilet tissue too. Let's do it. Two brushes. Let's do it. Like everything that we need. Let's go. And this is the people that we've made money with. We've made money. We've been able to stay in business like that. Every massage in our community should have. And, and 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 let me say this, because it's not really it's not really the role and responsibility of the imam to establish this, right? Uh, is I think it's the community as a whole should fight for this, right? <clears throat> to have a section, if not a storefront, it just depends on where you at. You know, it depends on the resource of that community. Some communities are, are, you know, got the money. Some communities just don't. But they should have a section um, or something to carry just a few products that we got. You know, um, and for those that don't know, we we got over fifty products that are produced. Um, uh, in our community that can replace the products that you're already going to Walmart or Target or wherever you're going and you can replace those products and I just named a few of them right I named the detergent I named the toothbrushes we got floss picks we got mouthwash we got deodorant we have um, um, uh, as I mentioned the dryer sheets and the fabric softener we have uh, batteries non-volt double uh, a triple a nine volt batteries uh rechargeable batteries with the charger you know uh we have uh i mentioned uh, i mentioned toilet tissue we got trash bags you know you may say okay i can't do 13 i got 30, 33 gun. we got both okay uh we got freezer bags we got uh uh, uh sandwich bags if all of you are making uh your children sandwiches and and, and and lunch uh for school we got all of that um we got aluminum foil we have parchment paper on its way you know, we have um, we have so much. I, you know, my mind is blinking. You know, shampoo, conditioner, you know, all of those different products. You know, um, and it just on and on. The list is on and on and on. And I and I, I believe God will, will will bless us tremendously. What we be asking for, you know, money and, and this is, you know, and I'm willing to get behind it. Like, you know, if a a, if a massager don't have the necessarily don't have the funds to to order some of these things, okay, that's no problem. We could we could just deliver it. And then just sell it, and then we, we, we'll raise enough money for the master to get paid. We will put put the money back into more product, and then we get a cycle going. But um, but we got we have to end the day has to end when we when we stop with the excuses. Other people are running with it. I mean, they running. 
you know, and and we were the ones that was given the charge. We were the ones that was given the charge. They weren't, you know, they it just resonate with them, you know, and we was the ones given the charge. So, you know, um, Allah is going to bless. Allah is going to bless those who, 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 um, who uh, uh, support. You know those who God has sent us, right? That's who God is going to bless. Excellent, excellent. I think that is the wrap up of the conclusion on a great note, uh, because we want to leave. We want to leave here with ten the tangibles and uh, action items. So on the bottom of your screen, oh, now on on the front of your screen, we have the we buy buy black uh, black bag. Which has all of those, all of those products. Let me move this out. Let me get this out of the way. There we go. It has all the products that we just mentioned. You know, the true detergent, the softener, the mouthwash, the the, the toothbrushes, the, the light bulbs, all of those things that we that Sharif just mentioned. You can get it right now by going yeah. to webuyblack.com. Right I'm now. I'll make a quick note. I, when you put that picture up, they just reminded me. You know, we got bandages, right? Uh, yeah, brownages. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, brownages. Yes. The brand Brownages, who have been just in our community. Mm -hmm. This is um, this is my 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 brother-in-law and my sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually here at their parents' house right now <laughs> in Ohio. Um, but they were just featured on Shark Tank. Mm -hmm. right? They launched at our convention, the 2018 We Buy Black Convention. Um, and you have uh, you have that family. You have another family. Uh, they were featured in Forbes and other things. Many successes. You know, you have another a family. That um that that uh, on that same picture they have their uh, Eclipse home linen uh, bath towels, um, washcloth, uh, bath towel, hand towel. They have that right. We got another sister who produced our own bed sheets. Mm. We have um, uh, on that same picture we had uh, the brother. He's not Muslim. Uh, is a really good brother named uh, Rob out of Austin, Texas. He produced those light bulbs. In fact. Um, I, uh, you all probably remember when I used to go in on Instagram a lot, a lot more than what I've, I've done recently. Um, but um, I would go in the middle of a Walmart aisle and I was like, peace y'all, Sharif right here, but we buy black. We standing right here in aisle 21. This is the aisle where they sell light bulbs. Light bulbs is a multi-billion dollar industry. Yet we don't have mm -hmm. a black owned business that is selling light bulbs and producing light bulbs. Therefore, we're not in that. Mm -hmm. I would just put pump that out there. Just like, you know, black man, Louis Latimer. It was a part mm -hmm. of another light bulb, blah, blah, blah. and I would throw it all in there, and then people would get excited. And out of all of those hundreds of thousands of people that got excited, there was one person that said, "Hey, I want to produce that light bulb. I want to be. I want to be the one that, that do that." And I'm like, "All right, well, come on, come on." And I actually forgot that I had set him up with the brother Malik, to, uh, who, who travels to China and get things get things done and, and etc. I forgot I had set that up, man. And then next thing you know. The product is coming into our warehouse <laughs> you know what i mean and we're the largest distributor for his product we move more of his product than anybody else in fact we we hold the lion's share of moving his product throughout the year and we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars in product being moved and and it's light bulbs you know like everybody needs light bulbs you know i got two big light bulbs shining in my face right now you know <laughs> so i'm just saying average household uses about 30 to 40 light bulbs you know, so if we're talking about investing, invest in the companies that are coming from your community. And then if you get in at this stage and we ain't, we ain't, we ain't starting businesses to end them, you know, we get the game. We know how it works. So, you know, we, we, we trying to compete, you know, we trying to get our share. So um, you're right, Abilal. Um, but I think that strategically, if mm -hmm. we really want to walk away, mm -hmm. honestly, if we really want to walk away with something. I wouldn't mm -hmm. even say get the. I wouldn't even say get that bag. Honestly, mm -hmm. I wouldn't tell nobody to get that bag. You know, I mean, let 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 other people get the people gonna get that bag. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> let, let's do something a little differently, right? Let's let's call our community. Let's really like you know. Let's let's be straight up. Let's talk to the people in our community, wherever massage we go to. If anybody listening to this ain't Muslim, whatever church you go to, everybody got to wipe their butt. Why not they? Why not use a black owned toilet tissue company? Everybody got to wash their clothes. Why not use a black owned lawn detergent company? Until we get serious about about mm -hmm. that, listen, mm -hmm. we're not. We, you know, this is the page that we got to be on. We got to be serious about it. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I would never turn you. I would never turn anybody down. If you come sincere, you got me, and everybody knows that. You know, you got me. But if you come fake, you know, <laughs> you know, 
I, I can't I, I I can't entertain you. And I know that you brothers and and and, and, and all of you all are part of brothers and sister Marsha are part of this program. You all are serious. Um, everybody can see that you all are consistent, right? You all are consistent, and that's that's a major thing. And then uh, you inviting the right people and the right message. I just think that uh, you all going to need some uh, uh, probably another component. Whereas when we got these action items, you got a you got a person on the back end that's like I'm getting it done. You know what I mean? And then we gonna really we gonna really be able to see some successes. You know, uh, um, you know more successes come from our, from our community. You know absolutely absolutely and we appreciate brother sharif uh any any time the platform is yours you know we highlight whatever good whatever good is happening in our community we want to keep high, highlighting and pumping it out there to the public because they need to see this our community needs to see it everyone else needs to see it that we're doing well, the work is being done you know this this kill this other noise about work is not being done there's people actually sincerely working you know and you may not make a lot of noise because they're humble and they're doing things right. So we want to we want to thank Brother Sharif again for coming on. May Allah continue to bless you and your efforts. May Allah continue to bless this community and our and our collective efforts. You know to expand and to do and to establish model communities throughout the country. And with that, we want to uh, close out. We've got a couple of clips. We're going to play Sharif. We got a clip that we got in the chamber, and then we're going to play another clip for the Muslim Journal because we cannot forget that we have press too. And we want to keep and we want to keep promote our press because the press is for us by us you know so when we're celebrating those 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 60 60 plus years of of, of independent newspaper so um until next time peace assalam alaikum thank you Char sharif right here with we buy black look it looks like we don't hit a million followers that's a million people that could take action today what do I mean by that? There's no point of having a million followers if we're not going to make a commitment to make change ourselves. We have many different black owned businesses out there that we all need to galvanize behind, get behind to support. So what is the call to action? I'm asking everybody that follow us to find a black owned business today to support, to get behind. If a million of us purchase laundry detergent from the black owned laundry detergent company and we all spend $15, that's $15 million this month just for black on uh, for for, uh, for laundry detergent and if we make a commitment to spend that every month because we always got to wash our clothes then that's the money that we can pour back into our community that's how we're going to make sure that the children in our neighborhoods have a job that's how we're going to make sure that the schools that we love and that we support are going to uh, be financed and supported by us and that's just for laundry detergent what about our toothpaste what about our deodorant that we've been pushing you all to uh, to support throughout the years we want to get behind all of these different products in our community because that's where it's going to start now i'm gonna tell you something a lot of you all seen us in walmart you've seen us going aisle by aisle picking out product do we own do we have trash bags do we have uh, aluminum foil do we have toilet tissue these products are now being produced in our community but there's so much more work that needs to be done every single item that, that they have in walmart that you see on amazon wherever you go we should be producing those items we should have those items created by us so that whenever we decide that we need to go to Walmart then we'll be able to say you know what no matter what it is I need 90 to 100 percent of the items are going to come from my community it's not enough for us to have a black owned grocery store where that the owner is black but all the product inside the store is going to a different community we need to have the, 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 the store being built by African, the light bulbs inside of the store need to be from African American community. Um, we need the floors to be produced by us, the concrete to be laid by us. Every single thing should be produced by us. We are not biologically deficient. It's just that our environment has caused us to think that we are not together to separate us. So we need to pull our resources together, strengthen our families, which will ultimately strengthen our communities, which will strengthen our whole society. So that's it. Right now, black people as a, as a community, we have the highest rates of poverty, the highest rates of joblessness, the highest rates of crime, imprisonment, on and on and on. But as businesses, black businesses, we hire our people more than anybody else. We hire more African-Americans than any other entity. So the more successful our businesses are, then the more we'll hire our people. And the more of our people that are hired, 
then the, uh, the lower our joblessness rate will be, the lower our poverty rate will be, the lower our homelessness rate will be, the lower our um, uh, crime rate will be, and then ultimately the imprisonment rate. So we can fix our issues from the inside out, but it first starts with us. So the, the call to action today is for all the million people who follow us, because like I said, it don't matter if it's a million people. Hell, we could do, we could have 10 people, but if 10 people can commit to make change, and that's where it, that's where it's at. But because we have a reach of a million people, we asking everybody to follow us, to listen to us, get behind what we're talking about, because the change in reparations is going to start with us. There's no point of having reparations coming from the government, coming from anybody, tens of trillions of dollars, if we're going to take that money and pour it right back into somebody else's community. If our dollar leaves our community in six hours, what the hell good would tens of trillions of dollars do? It'd be gone in six hours. So, so the joke would be played on us. But the moment that we control all of our resources, the moment that everything that we need is coming from our community, and then we receive $10 trillion, matter of fact, we may even have a discussion whether or not it's even necessary at that point. Because we circulate over a trillion dollars outside of our community each year. Now imagine all of that coming back to us. And that's our reparations. Our reparations is us repairing ourselves. So the call to action, our people, continue to follow us, continue to support us. We don't want just a grocery store. We want to have the grocery store and we want to have the products that, that stock our shelves to be from us too. Peace. Powerful, man. Powerful. Legacy, legacy, brothers and sisters, let's celebrate. Legacy, legacy, Muslim journal, 60 years today. Legacy, legacy, our history, our perspective, our way. Legacy, legacy, Islam is our path, success away. Legacy, legacy, visit MuslimJournal.net online. Legacy, legacy, tech sponsor the 999. Legacy, legacy, 999, Legacy, legacy, MuslimJournal.net online. Legacy, legacy, brothers and sisters, let's celebrate. Legacy, legacy, Muslim journal, 60 years today. Legacy, legacy, our history, our perspective. Perspective our way, legacy, legacy. Islam is our path, success away. Legacy, legacy. Visit MuslimJournal.net on legacy, online. legacy. Tech sponsor the 99. Legacy, legacy. 999. 999. Legacy, legacy. MuslimJournal.net online.